Today I'm going to show you how to make this measuring stick for your chainsaw for under 10 bucks. Stick around. Welcome to my cluttered garage. You know I'm really glad you're here. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Fabrication Friday. I just made that up, but maybe we'll do things like this more often. Fabrication Friday. Fabrication Friday on Fridays. Hey, I'm really glad you're here because today I'm going to make a measuring stick for my chainsaw so that I can consistently cut 16 inch lengths of wood. Now, I actually ordered a measuring stick, but these are some parts that I bought a while ago and I've been wanting to do this, so I'm gonna make one and it's a great way that you too can make one for under $10. So here are the components. First of all, I've got this magnet that I picked up at Home Depot for about $5. I'm using a 1024 machine screw with nut and this half inch CPVC cap and of course this scrap piece of CPVC and I'm going to attach it all together it'll stick to the side of the saw and we'll be able to measure our wood with this. So let's look at the first step. Now I've seen PVC or CPVC caps that are flat on the end but this one is rounded so the first thing I'm going to have to do is just put a flat edge on it so that it fits nicely against the magnet. Now I probably don't have a whole lot of material here to work with, so I'm just gonna touch down and just make it flat. The next thing is to drill a hole, 3 16 hole, right in the center of this. Normally I'd use a much faster speed for plastic, but we're just doing one hole. That's it. Now we will just bolt this cap to the magnet. Now just stick the pipe in the end. I'm not going to use any glue at this time. I can always glue it later, but this is a test anyway, so we're going to see if it works. So that's going to work on there. That's going to stick to the bar. Then we just need to measure 16 inches and cut the pipe. Perfect. Let's try it out. Not bad.
Well, I've got to say for a quick little DIY project, I'm really happy with this. It worked really well. It's a great way to make a quick and pretty accurate measurement. The magnet sticks really well to the chainsaw bar. I will throw a little bit of PVC glue in here because as you know, it vibrates a lot and that's probably gonna come loose. But anyway, it worked really, really well. So not bad. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate you watching today. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join us. You can do that by clicking right here and check out this video. You might like that one too. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you next time.